Welcome back everybody. Welcome back to another exciting Divi tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you guys how to add in a arc shadow around your modules. Now you can add this shadow on anything. So it can be on any module, it can be on a row, it can be on anything. So for example, right here, I'm just going to give you a quick example. Let's just say I want to add it to this entire section right here. I'm going to go ahead and paste this code and there you go. Now we have this arc shadow. You can add it to any single module that you want. So right here, same thing. And uh, you know I can add it basically anywhere I want. So here again, I can add it right here under the main elements, blah, blah, blah. Now in the description of this video, there is a uh, code that you guys will need to get this done. So it'll look something like a uh, like this right here. Box shadow, blah, 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 zero pixels, etc. Okay. Now again, guys, you guys can use this on any single module. Now this is a tutorial that I've done, an e-commerce tutorial. And I've actually put it on different parts of my website. So right here, you guys can see, for example, I added in a red shadow right here, and then I combined it with a purple one right here. It's kind of like a Divi glow. It's a really cool feature. Now you guys can also decide what color you want. So for example, I just chose purple and red, but you guys can choose any color. So if you guys want to go ahead and find the color code, you guys can do something like this right here, where we can go to our module settings, and we'll go to the design. And I think they have it on this one. I don't know for. The, uh, I don't think they have it for this one. I think uh, over here they'll have it. So design right here, background color. So you can go ahead and pick any background color you want. So any background color. Now you're gonna take this simple code and if you guys look at the CSS that I put for the uh, the main element right here, you see this little number sign right here? You're gonna go ahead and put in that number for that code right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and just close this one really quick and I'll go ahead and add it on maybe this one right here. So CSS, main elements, and I'm just gonna go ahead and paste that number in. And guys, make sure that everything is perfect. For example, right here, I have two number symbols. If one thing is there, if one little tiny thing is there, the entire code will not work, all right? So by backspacing it, you guys can see now it's turning green. So again, you guys just wanna go ahead and put the box shadow right here under the main elements. And that's it guys, it's really, really simple. And you guys can add this to any module. You can add this to any single row. You can get as customizable as you want. You can even add it to your shop page. So this is an e-commerce tutorial that I've done. And right here, you guys can see that I have this purple effect right here with the hover over flip images. Pretty, pretty cool. So, you know, that's basically a quick rundown. All you need to do is take that text, put it anywhere and you are good. So I hope this tutorial was helpful. It's a pretty quick one, but I just want to go ahead and remind it because a lot of people were asking me about this glow on my other tutorial. So that is exactly how I accomplished that look. So I will see you guys later. My dog just got sprayed by a skunk today. So I have some cleaning to do. I'll see you guys later.